Hold on. Y'all is not loud enough when y'all say this shit. Hold up. I just caught a nine hour. Shorty, you try to bless me like I said I do. Like a nigga sneeze. Nigga, please, put a cheap squeeze. I'm getting cranked. Never let them all get in between. The wolves started. No, nigga, but I'm lying. Harder they love me when I'm stuck in their head and when I departed. I'm going to get in with color. Too early. I'm an artist. We're crawling with drink. Walking with foreigners in my garage. I'm foreign bitch in my night. Fuck me, suck it in. Swallowing anything for a dollar. They tell me, get them. Loud! I did it with that! I did you with that! Loud! Nigga, I'm on fire! Icy as a hot drink, Philly nigga, I'm flying! When I bought the Rolls Royce, they thought it was lease! Then I bought that new Ferrari! Hey, the rest in peace! Hey, the rest in peace! Rest in peace, huh? I'm talking lot, Phantom so big, can't even fit! What you saw? You ain't talking about my nigga! Gangs is moving side! Now I'm talking lot, I don't say a word! Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. When I moved the ass to the moment, I thought it was real. Flexing on these niggas, I'm like, pop my own spinach. Double limit, that's my team. I'm saying the captain of your team. I'm the type of candy, big candy. Where I like them, bro. Then let me my new bitch. You where I like my ghost. I'm right around my city with my hands straight to my toes. Cause these niggas want me. And I gotta make a bad one. Cause my mama need that bill money. My son needs some milk. up keepers oh my gosh so let me catch you guys up to speed yesterday was afro nation last night was afro nation and it was okay so it wasn't all the way 100 percent. first of all first of all afro nation um committee team whatever it is like it was a mess to get in was a mess now i really didn't care to see majority of the performers only tiwa savage and meek mill maybe p square but like by the time meek mill was done i was bus i was done my feet couldn't handle handle it anymore so i left um but getting in was a disaster like i don't know why it was just so chaotic but like apparently they've done afro nation in ghana before why why hasn't it been better like properly organized like people were getting trampled on people were shoving pushing like i know like that's hard to prevent but like it just wasn't well organized and you can just tell by how you get in like there was only one entrance for all ticket pairs like general admission vip v vip there was like literally just one section for all of these three sections why why apparently artists were even going through the same the same entrance why like it was just a mess however um I got to see Tiva Savage finally for the first time live and I think she did amazing. I also got to see Meek Mill live and he did well. Like, I think Ganyans are obsessed with Meek Mill and like, I think there's only one song that I know of Meek Mill and I don't even know the words properly, but I didn't have to pay, thank God, because literally when I sing, everybody was getting in, like they weren't checking tickets. I think at a point in time, they were so overwhelmed like with the amount of people. Afrochella was also happening and I don't think people went to Afrochella as much as Afro Nation because of Meek Mill obviously but I think they were just so overwhelmed that they weren't even checking tickets anymore and I didn't get buy it I didn't buy a ticket I went with a friend and he was just like you know what this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go in with the same ticket it was a screenshot like an email ticket so I had my phone ready to show them my ticket and they're just like go go like they were just over it they're like go 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 so I was in the general admission area and I'm like, you know what? I don't like my view. I was kind of really far back. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and finesse this and try and get into VIP. I was with my cousin as well. We finessed it and we got into VIP and I'm like, okay, a little bit closer, a little bit better. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me go into the golden section because that is like the proper view. So I try to go into the golden section and at that moment, I think they called in the military force. They were tasing people. I said, okay, no, that'll do it that'll do it that's my cue let me just you know what my chest really high i didn't even pay for anything let me just settle in the vip section and i just got got a 
good view from there so that was my night last night um i'm trying to remember what i did prior to affirmation i don't think i did anything honestly you guys i can say that this trip has been more of a chill relaxing type of vacay like i feel like last year i did a lot i did a lot like people back home like in toronto call me like oh mayor of a crab because like i not me yet like i was up and down i did not sleep like I think by this time last year I had no voice like if you talk to me I couldn't talk so like this year I'm just like it's more on a chill vibe restaurant vibes like I'm just here for the food honestly like if I come back and I gain 10 pounds 10 pounds mind your business once again mind your business because we're gonna start this weight loss journey again when I come back so mind your business um but yeah like I've just been really chilling with at home with family I haven't gone out much during the day, but then in the night, I'm outside. And I'm not bringing my camera outside in the night because I'm scared. Like, literally, I'm scared. And when I was leaving Afro Nation last night, like, I had my phone in my hand. And somebody came, I was like, somebody came by, walked by me and was like, put your phone in your bag. Like, literally, like, people come out at night and when there's, like, a crowd of people just to steal things. At a point in time, I felt somebody trying to go, go into my handbag. The way I grabbed the person's wrist, like literally, and they ran, okay? So that was one incident. After 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 Afro Nation, everybody's walking to their cars, you guys. Like they were beating thieves because I think they caught one thief that stole a phone and they the way they beat him. I said, no, sir. Let me put my my phone in my bag. I didn't even bring my camera for you guys. So I just vlogged. I just vlogged on my phone, so as much as i hate it i had to because again is scary baby is scary don't play with them don't play with these thieves because they will steal your stuff like in a crowd like that they'll secretly try and go in your bag so you guys really, really be careful when you're out here but yeah that's it so you guys it is december 30th all right this is like one more day until we enter into new year's eve that's crazy to me that's actually really crazy but it's December 30th. I'm it's about three, no, two o'clock. Um, I'm actually going out to lunch um with Priscilla. So I'm here, I'm waiting on her. And yeah. Don't you guys like my set? I'm gonna try and put you guys down. I know I told you guys I'm gonna try and do outfit of the day for you guys, but when I tell you I get so hot after I get dressed, um at our aunt's house like i i'm just over it over it but i'm gonna see if you guys can see me here uh -oh. i'm gonna see if you guys can see me i need to figure so you guys this is my outfit of the day can you guys see let me bring y'all down so this is my outfit of the day you guys I absolutely love this set. Okay. It's, it's a button up, but I just want it to be a little bit extra and just, yeah, because I'm a little bit extra. <laughs> but this is my outfit of the day, you guys, and this set is actually for um, AliExpress. AliExpress, I got it in a large because I wanted it to be loose. I should have actually did an extra large because my top is as loose as I want to, but not my pants. I wish my pants could be a little bit looser. It is loose, but can you guys see? I would like it a little bit looser, but it's still, it's fine. It's fine, no complaints. And love it. So yeah, this is where we're going to lunch. And um, I'm gonna bring you guys with me because I haven't, bring, I haven't brought you guys out for some time now, so we're gonna go. Keepers, we are at. Oh, you wanna say hi to the vlog? 
No, I don't. Cause you're, cause you're near the window. It's, it's so dark. dark. Okay, first, so we finally made it to our destination. The first restaurant that we wanted to go to, fully booked, couldn't get in. So we went to this Italian restaurant here, Romano. Romano. So. Almost forgot you guys. <gasps> Almost forgot you guys there. Oh my god. I just told them I almost forgot them outside. Ooh, keepers. Ooh. Priscilla took such good pictures of me. Like I always do. I love it. No, I really do like I don't think I need any more. Look at these. These are so clear. Oh, yeah. You only take the no see. It's so good. It's crisp. This is good. I'm satisfied with it. It's not comfortable. I tried it because you are used to using it. When I use after. But okay, so that does that mean your mattress is soft? Because Ghana mattresses is hard. No, I'm using a more carefully. I imported it from Nigeria to be. So you put it on top of the, the no, mattress? No, that is, I, put, I put it in, in the floor. I didn't put it in there. Oh, floor. it's not on a bed frame. No, no, no. I just put it in the floor. It's all well, our system. Way beyond the noise, you feel it. When you speak, all I can hear is. Not me. Chewing. Just munching on plantain chips. Okay? Good morning, keepers. What's up, everybody? It's the next day in the video. So, just to fill you guys in, after I went out for lunch with Priscilla, we ended up going back home and we um, we got ready to go to Afro Nation. If I tell you guys what happened at Afro Nation last night, I only went there for one person and they locked it off because people don't know how to act. Some Ghanaians don't know how to act, so they locked it off and... We didn't get to see Asake, we didn't get to see Rema, and we didn't get to see, there's one more person, Skip, whatever, I'm not going to butcher the name, but we didn't get to see it because they said due to unforeseen circumstances that they can't control, like, the safety of people is their concern, so, like, they're canceling off because people were literally pushing, pushing. I just don't understand because the military was there, so I don't know why they weren't tasting people, but, like, I was really pissed. Like, we went there just for, I went there just for a sake, and we didn't get to see him. But, whatever. Now, you guys, it's the next morning. I'm here to refill my lashes. I came to, I don't know if you guys can see the sign, but I came to the Beautyville here. Is this East Legon? Yeah. yeah. It's in East Legon, okay? My, Priscilla came and did her lashes, and I really liked it, so I said, you know what, let me just come to refill. Okay, so it's still keeping it sultry all the way, right? But in Ghana, you know, I have to find another keeping it sultry. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. So, yeah, here I am. I'm about to refill my lashes. And who's doing it for me? What's your name? I'm Emmy. Emmy? So, Emmy's refilling my lashes. I mean, <laughs> so, Emmy's refilling my lashes. So, I'm excited. And my, it's not bad, but one eye is lacking than the other. So, I wanted to refill it so, like, they're even. So, here we are, here we are, hey, here we are, y'all. So, this is the place. It's a really cute shop. Like, I think this is so adorable. Look at this. Yeah, don't play with them. Don't play with them. So, this is my lashes before. Okay, so I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. Yeah, I think it's here. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for my lashes. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> So we are currently en route to go for brunch. Okay, is my camera zoomed in? It is zoomed in. Yeah, we are en route to go for brunch. We're going to Rose Garden, like I said. So I'll talk to you guys once I get there. So you 
you guys change of plan rose garden was choked choke 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 we couldn't get in i'm pissed because i wore this outfit specifically to there because it matched the aesthetics and i wanted to take pictures so we booked reservation for tomorrow and nobody's gonna say anything to me because i'm gonna wear this again so i can take pictures who's gonna check me who's gonna check me because well, one thing about me i'm gonna repeat my clothes so i specifically wanted to, i'm so sad i specifically wanted to take pictures there but we ended up just going right beside um there's another restaurant right beside rose garden called boss Forest. so we ended up just settling with here i've heard good things about this place too so i'm not mad at it but it's, i wouldn't have wore this but i'm going tomorrow we booked reservation um for 10 30 so we're just gonna go for breakfast we won't even eat at home chantelle we have to wake up here okay? Because I need you to take my pictures. So yeah, we're just gonna come here for breakfast tomorrow morning and I'm gonna wear the same thing and nobody's gonna say anything to me. Check me. Who won't check me? Nobody. Okay. Bye guys. lighting is sucks here right now but good evening keepers it is almost them time there like 2022 is about to come to an end and we're about to cross over into 2023 and bro what a year what a year it has been but it's been a good year it's been a great year i'm not even gonna lie where's the remote hopefully you guys can hear me the tv is really loud i got quite a new winner it's not us it's not us <laughs> we live with jehovah witness so they don't go to church <laughs> but um like i was saying what a year it's been it's been a great year okay i think 2022 top tier year for me like and i i i, I don't want to speak for everybody i'm just gonna speak for myself but i i want to say majority of people had a good 2023 2022 um if you didn't i'm so sorry but next year is gonna be even better like pray into it that 2023 is gonna be all y'all years all right for all my keepers 2023 is our year period big purr but it's about them time <laughs> it's about them time and i'm just so grateful to god i really have god to thank um it's been a good year all right a lot of blessings came my way this year um I'm, I'm just really grateful okay a lot of pe good people came into my life this year um i had a, a major breakthrough with my career this year and i've been really struggling with finding my place or finding the position that i want to be in within my career now once again i remember at the beginning not the beginning but the ge beginning of my youtube channel i told you guys i'm in the social sector field but i haven't really been working in it and i find like i finally have my foot in the door and i even got promoted into a new role before i came to this trip so like i'm just so grateful for what god has done for me this year like all i can do is just give him all the blessings all the praises and thanks because that's my g upstairs you know what i'm saying my g upstairs like he loves me, but we're about to head to church. It's about 9. We're late. It's almost 9.30. Church started at 9 o'clock. Um, so we're about to head there right now. And I hope you guys also head to church wherever you guys are at. But I'm going to take you guys with me. And we're going to cross over into the new year. And we're going to start it off right with God in the house of the Lord. Per. So I'll see you guys at church.
to somebody. You are blossoming at your workplace. You are blossoming in your marriage. You are blossoming in your business. You are blossoming in your ministry. Lift up the voice. Good morning and happy new year everybody. It is January 1st, 2023 and I'm just so excited. Now, I told you guys yesterday we're going to make an attempt to go back to Rose Garden and we're on our way. So, I'll meet you guys there. currently at Kampivsky Hotel after Rose Garden. We went home, changed really quickly, and we went to Kampivsky, Kampivsky Hotel. We're about to do a pool day. So we're just gonna hang out, chill out at the pool, take some pictures, outfit of the day. This is from this cover-up. It's not even a cover-up, it's actually a dress that you can wear it as a cover-up, but it's from Shein. The whole fit is probably Shein. So once we get inside, enjoy this montage. So we didn't end up back in Pimsky. Like it was, it, it choked. The place choked. So we left and came to Golden Tulip, but they changed their name. They're called Lancaster. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So we're currently at Lancaster, just chilling by the poolside. I'm just waiting for these kids to get at the pool. Like I just feel like this. I don't like coming here because there's too many kids and they just make it's just a mess but I feel like they'll get out very soon um so yeah you guys that's that's it that, that's all I can tell you ain't nothing happening it's New Year's Day so everybody's just cooling chilling <clears throat> so I'm doing the same thing so I'll talk to y'all a little bit later guys i finally freaking got some fresh sweet mangoes i don't think you guys understand how happy i am baby yes good morning keeper she's in the she's in the kitchen good <laughs> good morning keepers um welcome back um I'm trying to see where I can get you guys up to speed. Um, so the last time I vlogged, I went to the pool side. Now, I remember I went there last year with Andrew and there was too many children. Like, I love kids and everything, but they were running around. And that's where I even fell. There was water everywhere. Obviously, I'm at a pool and I'm, and I'm, I'm at a pool area, but like, it was just too much kids. So that was cool. Um, after that, I, we came back home. We ended up going out later that evening. Once again, I don't like bringing my camera out in the night. I don't trust myself and I don't trust some of these locals here. So, yeah. And then, um, that was that. Yesterday, what did I do yesterday? What did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I went to my aunt's house. I went to go visit my aunt near Spintex. It's kind of far from where I'm staying. It was like a 35 minute drive. Um, so I went to go visit her, pick up some stuff that my mom wanted me to pick up. Um, a and came back home. 
um i wanted to go out last night but i was so tired and you guys i'm slowly getting sick like i have a, a dry cough that won't go away but everything else is fine so I, I wasn't feeling that good last night so i ended up just staying in the night i didn't go anywhere um one of the neighbors the neighbor that we have here that lives here wanted to take us out to like a pub or like a bar and grill but like i was sold bus and i knew we had to be up early today because i'm actually going to kumasi today um so i needed to come home and properly pack my bags um and give out some of my clothes away to my my cousins in kumasi so i knew today was just last night going into today was just going to be hectic so i decided to stay home so we are actually all ready to go to kumase this time i'm not taking a flight i'm going to take the bus i wanted to do a new experience um just for y'all but nah it's not even that like the flight now is an arm and a leg i'm not i'm not gonna do it to be very frank so the bus ride is it's like a coach bus so it is pretty comfortable the bus ride is going to be like about four to five hour drive to kumase so that's like going to like ottawa that's basically like driving to ottawa you know it's four to five hours <laughs> yeah four to, did i i hope i said that four to five hours um yeah it's like driving to ottawa so these are my bags that i've packed these are my bags that i packed well not this one just the purple one and i have to give leave this at my mom's house in Kumasi. So, yeah, you guys, we are just having breakfast. It's about 8 a.m. and we're about to head out to the bus station to catch our bus ride. So I will, maybe I'll check in with you guys when I'm settled and I'm on the bus. And then we'll talk when I get to Kumasi. So, bye, keepers. You guys, I've, I've made it here to Kumase and I'm so tired. You guys, that bus ride was like four and a half hours it wasn't that bad like i feel like our parents make it seem like it's so dangerous and they don't want us to take it and blah it was honestly it wasn't that bad i'm now going to drop off some of the stuff that i came here with for my mom's sister um so we are going to where is it Bermai. we're going to bring my <laughs> bring my so that's where that's where my mom's house is so that's where we're going. My cousin here is gonna take me out tonight, right? Where are we going? Hey. <laughs> Penny, say say hi to the vlog. Say hi. <laughs> so Ike's Cafe. Yeah, Ike's Cafe. I told her I want to go to like a chill spot, chill spot, and she said Ike's Cafe. So yeah. that's where we went. I think I showed you guys that in the vlog last year. We might go somewhere different. Uh, rich condos. Rich condos. Rich condos. What's that? It's a restaurant rich condos, or? Yeah. Oh. So stay tuned. Hi, the store. Okay, now I'm gonna try you. Say hi, baby. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <baby. laughs> Where are we going today, baby? Where are we going today? I might take long, so I think you should go back. Yeah, I might take long. The market. Right? Yeah, so. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while, so. I'm going to bring you guys with us to the market and get the one, two stuff that I need to get, and then. Yeah. Keepers, y'all remember when I came here the last time to yeah. buy my waist beads? Yeah. I came to the same lady because I said, if, if it's not her, I'm not going to go anywhere else. <laughs> and look, <laughs> you guys, I'm back at the same place where I got my beads. 
What? She's here. Mama. If the moon you know must say America. America. No Canada. Canada. Toronto. Canada, Toronto. Ah. Na mi sha mo nya mo kesi. Mama mama da mo se. Amen. Mama she me na mi nya bi she me ma. Na mi nya bi ye nya mi eduma. Everybody nya mo kesi. Amen. Mama mama kuma swa di mama. Oh le le. Obi e te toma. O me tobi o mama mama. Yes. Oh, mama, want to for? I want what to ask. Oh, mama, worry me when it's here. Everybody slam me. Me worry you over. Me worry love my husband. Me worry too dry. Me worry real swear. Me worry don't make the car be mad. Me worry me drunk. Oh, I'm rubber for the end. It's what day. Everybody move on. Move on. This time, me damn sure we are Canada. Amen. 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 Go, 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 Thomas, hi, chill. Hi. <laughs> the way you talk, that's the how you say. <laughs> Is it blurry? It's blurry. Come on, it's blurry. Keepers, just like that. I'm back in Accra. My trip to Kumasi has come to an end. Um, we're actually on our way to the house, so I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, the flight was. The flight was good. We took the bus ride there and the flight back home. And it was a smooth, fast ride. So we got our way home. So I'll talk to y'all in a bit. But because you're one sound, you can't be at yourself or whatever. You guys, he's talking about the bridge, the cocoon bridge. We're going tomorrow. So he's telling me I shouldn't go on the bridge. Uncle, we'll send me and send me. I shouldn't for. Huh? Square. Okay, okay. It's it. So I shouldn't go on it. I shouldn't go on the bridge. Mm. Yeah. Say one to me, dear. What for be that? What for be that? No, man. For me, that. I'm saying, for me, that no one to me. I will do all sorts before I open for me. Open and see, man. Say, I'm from here to. Mommy, mommy. From here to airport. So. I'm from here to airport. Maybe 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 I'm from here uh, from here to car white a bar no it's not another trip san juan six uh may i tell you what i want i want Forest. Ah. Now, who knows? Someone who videos. Ah, you know, you have to show. Ah. 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 Ah.
I don't know, but I miss I want to bring you. My team, what can I say? I give you my number, you send it later. I have this one for the air condition, baby, for the four places. Okay, you don't like it. Mama, don't you like something like that? Why? Thank you, Mr. Rose. Office, I will your man. David, no I'm going to catch you. You have a He's always hungry too, you know. Uncle, Uncle, and Eddie, and come and do it. I come and do it. Come and do it. Who throws no and yet dry? The piano throws and anytime he sees me, that's when he's hungry. And Eddie, who called on the woman? I bet you, I bet you. Uncle, what did you do? But I call him. Where does it go? Who did you do? I call him. I'm coming up. <laughs> Brad Thomas, yeah. Good morning, keepers. It's the next day in the vid vlog now. Um, it's Saturday now, and today we're going on a little road trip. You guys, I'm so tired, so like, I actually have no energy. Like, I'm running on no sleep. Just know that I'm running on no sleep. I went out last night, and I came home this morning. So I'm running on no sleep. But this morning we are on our way to Cape Coast. We're gonna go do the the Slave Castle and the Kakum Bridge, I believe, if we can make it. Um, so come along with me. I want Rex, really be okay. that so, night track. Canopy walk uh -huh. From here to the canopy and back. The whole tour takes okay. roughly one hour. Okay, okay. We have seven bridges. The long one and then a short one. Okay. The short one you do only two. Oh, yeah. The long one you do seven. So um, after every bridge, there's a platform where you can stand, rest, and then take pictures, pictures. of the, the forest. Perfect. Then you continue. Yeah. So unless you want to commit suicide, that's when you have to jump <laughs> over it. How can we go to uh, do suicide? <laughs> yeah, and then we can get suicide. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean is, it's very safe. It's very safe. Okay. So we can, everybody can do it. Okay. Yeah. Great. We'll go and work on it. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. When you come there, you come and touch me. Okay. Come and touch me. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we just paid and we're heading up to um, the tour guide people them. So we can start now. There's like four different type of activities. There's the canopy walkway, the tree house camping, um, the, white, the bird watching, and the hiking. Um, we only did. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. My eye is being a joke right now. But we only chose to do the canopy walkway. Like, I don't have the energy to do any other activity. So that's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned. You guys, fam, that hike just to the bridge, done. I'm bus, and we're supposed to go to the castle after this. I'm bus, but it's almost go time. We're about to go on the bridge. Eh, everybody's shitting bricks right now. <laughs> everybody's shitting bricks, but it's go time, baby. You know I like a little challenge, so let's go. <laughs> So, um, your phones to hold them well or just put them inside your bags because when it drops, you're not going to get it back. All right, guys, this is it. <laughs> it's not bad. Ooh. I'm not holding any handle, so it just makes things a little harder for me. Guys, all right. I'm just. I'm gonna start putting the phone down because I did my best. <laughs> Whew, okay, let's put the phone down. All right. So now I'm using one hand so I can hold my camera. I was just using my phone for my TikTok, you guys. 
Aren't we okay? <laughs> you guys! You guys! <laughs> you guys, have you seen my ad face? <laughs> my mind, uh, Guys, I'm my mind and leave. What's it, baby? Copy of the black never take go home. My man, you don't want to be we made it. Uh, this is the third. This is the third bridge. The third bridge, you guys. We friggin' made it. Okay, we have four more to go. Jesus Christ. Wow. Hey, you big clothes. Thank you, first. Woo, child. Two. This is the last one. No, second last. You guys, seven bridges. Talk to me, nice. Talk to me very nice because of my keepers. I'm getting content. Just like that, we did it. Hey, hey, seven bridges. Are you dumb? Talk to us nice. Talk to me very nicely. All right, completed seven bridges at the cocoon park. That was light work, no? It's light work. Touch me, fam. That was light work. <laughs> currently at the Cape Coast Castle, about to do the tour here. So we are at location number two. So come along with me. I'm so excited to do this because I really, like I, this is what I wanted to do last year and I wasn't able to. So I'm happy that I'm finally doing this now. This is where they kept them? Oh my God. The opening space up here it is one of their sources of light and ventilation whilst in the dungeon. And so sometimes when it rains, depending on the direction of the wind, some of the rainwater comes into the dungeon. Above this very dungeon, there is a church sitting comfortably above this dungeon. While the rangers up here claiming they were worshipping God, singing praises to God, hmm. preaching love to neighbor as a soul, just right in to them. There were others in here dying and suffering. But the big question we need to ask ourselves is that why should they even build a church on top of a slave dungeon? Europeans that left Europe to trade in Africa never came to Africa with their wives. For that reason, they were abusing the enslaved African women sexually. Those of the women who resisted rape from officials, they were beaten up severely and later locked in here for a couple of days. So this is the door of no return. Final exit for enslaved Africans. Enslaved Africans who went through this door lost contact with Africa. Okay. 1998, for the very first time, Ghana celebrated Emancipation Day. Two boys. Morning keepers, what's up everybody? You guys are gonna kill me because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I went out, like I did stuff yesterday and I totally forgot to bring my camera and I didn't vlog on my phone just cause I was just enjoying the moment. My girl, Vera, touched down in Ghana even though I'm leaving very soon. I have like, you guys, I'm sad, okay? The depression is slowly hitting. <laughs> I'm sad and happy at the same time because 
I'm over this heat. I'm dying. I'm getting sick. Okay, it's really just this dry cough that I have that won't leave me alone. Like, in the night, it just comes full force. But, um, I'm dying of this heat. I actually need cold air. Like, I miss, I want to see snow. I want to see cold air. Okay, I want to be able to breathe and see my breath. Because that's how hot it is here. Um, but I'm sad because just Ghana is just so chill, calm vibes, relaxing, like, the best place to vacation okay and for me this Ghana definitely was more on a calmer side <coughs> than anything this was real vacation kick up relax like like it was giving like island type of vacation for me but yesterday I met up with my girlfriend Vera we went out to vine and um we wanted some dessert so we went to pan and cook and Overall, I enjoyed my food at Vine and I enjoyed my dessert at Pan and Cook. <coughs> <coughs> this cough is attacking me, you guys. But we chilled, we hanged, we hang, we chilled, hung out a little bit, and went our separate ways. In the night, I went out, had a blast. Okay, so yeah i'm on my way to tim i'm gonna go visit my mom's niece so my little cousin i love her so much tracy and um i'm gonna go to my aunt salon and get my hair washed because i'm getting my hair braided tomorrow i'm only excited because i'm tired of the wig and i just i just want something i can just wake up shake and go shake and go and the braids are gonna do it for me so i'm gonna do like those bohemian style braids i think it's cute i might as well and I'm not going to a, a salon or anything. It's a house call. So she's coming over to the house and she's braiding my hair at 7 a.m. in the morning. So I need to get my hair washed so it's ready for tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm about to head out. So I'll check in with you guys once I'm in Tema. Bye. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, this is my breakfast. Uh huh. This is my breakfast. They call this gobe. That's right. I can't really see. All right, you guys. So I'm starting my hair. Meet the braiders. <laughs> this is Tina and Evelyn. All right. So they do house calls. Really neat. All right. Oh my God, you can't see me. Yeah, they do house calls. Very, very neat. And this is my first braid. Talk to them nice! in Osu on Oxford Street and I came to uh, 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 an African shop. No shop. More shop. Omega shop. Omega shop on Oxford Street near the KFC on Osu. And I'm looking for like an African wear because I'm doing my photo shoot tomorrow in the market. So I want it to be like more like what's the way you can say like yeah, can right. design say yeah but there's a few shops on the strip and I'm just searching around to see if they have what I'm looking for. There's one that I found here that I really like. I'm going to show you guys. Because um, the shoe is tomorrow morning. Like early in the morning. So I have to buy it now. So that, boom, everything is done. But this is what I'm at. You guys, my hair turned out so beautifully. Okay. And yeah. But yeah. But she said, why don't you miss me? So I'm going to shop around. I'm going to show you guys around. And yeah. I feel bad. 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 I feel bad
That's cute. How do you feel it? Oh, oh it's cute, you know. It's not. Yeah, this is it. This is cute. This is it. Come on. For a shoe? Wait, patch up. What's it? Hey, I hear. Hey, Timiso. Timiso. Anyone else say 200? No. Timiso, Timiso. The same, this is the same. Just different prints. Back why I mean Timiso. Timiso, Timiso. Wait, what we'll artwork need in that? What are we? Ah, Shre, Shre. Oh, that's it, you know. I'm out of here. You need to come in. Sorry, I said. Ah, where for? Africa. Africa. I'm out of here. Hey, Mitcha. Thank you, Madam. You can live in Amman. Shre. Put a quarter of a pound of bread. We wait. We get a quarter of a pound of bread. Oh, F. Oh, oh, F. Oh. Elephant face. Ah. Mega shoes. You know, you can buy them. You can buy them from. Oh, mega dear. Mega shoes. Aha. You own promo. You own promo. Not from KFC. Exactly. Not from KFC or Su. Yeah. Access bank. Yeah. Aha. Right here. Yes. Yes. So mega shoes. Aha. Mega shoes make the shoes and the converse and the fabric. Aha. So. I got my fit and I can't wait for the shoot to uh, They also threw in uh, slippers for me that literally matches the outfit. Yeah, yeah, we on brand tomorrow. We on brand. Okay, so stay tuned for the photo drops. Hey, hey, and the behind the scenes. Hey. All right, so we're going to the market bright and early in the morning to take the pictures. The photographer is the one that found the location. So we're going to the art center. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I really wasn't gonna do this, so shout out to my good, my girlfriend Vera, who persuaded me to do this. Okay, so we're gonna do a shoot separately, and then we're also gonna take some shots together. I think it's gonna be so cute. Her fit is nice, my fit is cute. I love it. So, hello, keeper. So, I have reached my destination. I'm currently at Accra Art Center at Makula. So, I'm, I met up with Vera. We're about to take our fit. This is her fit, okay? Talk to her nice. Doesn't she look so good? And then this is mine. They didn't get to see it at home properly. Is, the, is it dark? It's a bit dark. Let me turn around, let me turn around. And then this is my fit. I didn't get to show you guys at home properly, but... Yes, the lighting over here. Check her out, but don't be silly. <laughs> I kind of, my nose, makeup kind of messed up. I don't know if you guys can tell. <coughs> but we moved. There's nothing an edit cannot do. But yeah, you guys, so I'm going to try and get some behind the scenes. I couldn't bring anybody with me to like hold my camera for us, but I'll see what I can do. This is why I have my mini stand, but... Stay tuned. We're just waiting for the cameraman to set up. I want to introduce you guys to him, but like he's just setting up, so I don't want to bother him. This man is a real MVP, okay? Because he got into a bad accident and he still wants to do the shoe. Like I even felt bad. I wanted you to tell him like it's okay. Like you can do your shoe later. Like it, it won't hurt me if I won't do it. But the man's like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I want to do it fast. Yeah. All right, guys. So once we get to where we're actually taking the pictures, I will check in with you guys. Keeper, so we are finished with our photo shoot. The pictures came out bomb diggity. All right, this is unedited, raw, and it came out sick. How do you feel? Oh, <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> we got really pissed off at the beginning, like, very wants to throw hands. I'm here trying to be voice of reason, and then at the end of it, I got pissed and I had to yell. No. <laughs> so stupid. I <laughs> I'm so yeah. stupid. But anyway, I want you. I wanted you guys to meet the photographer for today. Introduce yourself, please. Um, Shout out your name. Shout out your name. Plug yourself in. Okay, okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm West Lenses. West the Lens is on Instagram, mm -hmm. but I'm Harry in real life. <laughs> and is this your assistant? Do you want to be on camera or no? 
<laughs> but you guys, like like I said, look, do you see his arm? Like he literally got hurt on his way to secure the location here for us. Like, and he still made it the next day. I felt so bad. I wanted you to just sleep and just rest. No. <laughs> but this guy's a real MVP and he's sick at his work. So you guys, I'm gonna tag all his information down below. If you guys are in Ghana, hit him up because yeah, he's worth he's worth the price. He travels and has his own studio. Period. Okay, I'm now I'm gonna buy one outfit and my superstar here is taking me. Superstar, is superstar. That's the rule, superstar. Good morning. All right, y'all. Good morning. This is my last watche of the trip. Okay, the real, authentic kind. Because what? What's this leaf called? No, auntie. What is it in English? Oh, that's it. So in 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 our dialect, it's called ahabai. But it's just green leaf. green leaf. Yeah, simple. Natural green, Natural green leaf. That's right, you know what I'm saying? But this is my last meal, you guys. It's home time today. My flight is at 10.55 p.m. So, yeah, it's bittersweet, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Just like that, I am back home. I made it safely, thank God. Um, I edited the vlog out so poorly in Ghana, forgive me, but it was a hectic um, departure for me. So I had no time to pull out my camera and when I'm overwhelmed and like, the last thing I'm thinking about is picking up my camera to vlog, but if you guys have made it this far into the Ghana vlog, thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, all right? Comment down below, all right? And subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I don't want to see the, the views not matching the subscription. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keepers, I love and appreciate you guys. And we are out.